we're going to go through every starting point guard in the NBA projected for the upcoming season and rank them. So you the best is, you the worst is. This channel right here is Amateur Hour Clips, part of the Amateur Hour Production Network, where it continues to be all Raptors all the time. On this channel, we take the best segments from the live streams that we do over on the main channel, Amateur Hour Sports, and clip it into some bite-sized segments for you to enjoy. So, if you do enjoy along the way, make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date on all the content we have coming your way. And for this tier, this tier list, it was pretty complicated to come up with what the actual tiers are going to be because I had like average, below average, not good, but it felt weird putting any of these players in a not good tier. All 30 of these players, there's 30, right? Probably. All 30 of these players are good. None of them are like, or at least, at least fine. None of them are bad players. So it felt weird making a bad tier. So the lowest tier that we have here is mid. Now, mid derived from the term average, basically. But mid has taken on its own definition at this point. Mid doesn't mean average. Mid means kind of like acceptably bad. If somebody says it's mid, they didn't really like it. They were pretty neutral about it. So it could be considered average. But I feel like it's taken on a term that's like below average. But mid fits the category, I think, of some of the players that we're going to use today. Uh, I think we're going to change around things as we go, but let's just jump into it. Every starter in the NBA. I might move stuff around as we go, I will say. So just, you know, the guy's not where you want him to be. It's okay. We might move him. Hang on, I'm going to slightly adjust this. Perfect. So let's start with John Morant. I think it's a good place to start. John Morant's a star. Not going to call him a superstar right now. I, I think if he gets a healthy season under his belt and a healthy season where he doesn't flash a firearm on Instagram Live, I think I, I really like John Morant. I might thrust him into superstar, but especially because I think we're going to have quite a few superstars here. For now, I'm going to put him as a star. Keontae George, I like him. A lot of potential. The reality is, in contrast to the rest of the players on this list, he's mid. That could change down the line. I think he's a great young player. He's just on a team that isn't very good. So he's the starting point guard. I mean, I could have used Colin Sexton, but the way it was laid out on ESPN was that he was the point guard. So I used him. He's mid relative to this list. That's for sure. Fred Van Vliet. You know, big reason why Houston took a big step up last season. He's still a good defender. Is he good or is he great? I'm going to put him great for now, and I have the option to move him down later, which I will consider. Steph Curry's a fide superstar. I don't think we need to spend a lot of time on that. De'Aaron Fox, I really like De'Aaron Fox. He's, he's a star. I've said it for a long time. I've said it for a few years now that he's a star. And now everybody else is recognizing it as well. De'Aaron Fox, absolutely a star on that Sacramento Kings team. D'Angelo Russell, if you know me, you know I'm not a big fan of D'Angelo Russell. He's mid. As far as mid goes, he's mid. Not super efficient. Yeah, he can hit threes, but is, is a bit of a negative asset in the playoffs. Hard to use him in those settings. Ah, that's mid. That's mid right there. I'll put him above Keontae George, though. Malcolm Brogdon, sixth man of the year a year ago, but now we're, we're talking about a starting point guard here. I guess he will be for the Washington Wizards. He's a Wizards point guard, by the way, if anybody didn't know. <sighs> Is he good? I'll put him good. I might drop him later. Manu Quickly. I think Manu Quickly is great. I, I'm going to put him in the great tier. Yeah, I, I'd take him over him. Uh, he's definitely not worse than Van Vliet. I'm going to put him Manu Quickly here. I really like Tyus Jones. Starting point guard might be a bit high for him. Is he mid or is he good? Not a good defender. Gets tons of assists. Doesn't turn the ball over. Scores. I'll put him good for now with a chance to move him. DeJounte Murray. Overrated. I don't really like him, but I'm not, I don't think he's bad enough that I'm going to call him mid. He is an inefficient scorer. 
He lives off of a defensive reputation from San Antonio when he's not even that good of a defender anymore. Doesn't bend the defense. Isn't even a fantastic passer. I'm kind of calling him mid. He's better. He, there's enough there to be just enough to be good. I like Mike Conley. I don't, I'd rather have him than D'Angelo Russell than Keontae George. I'll put him there. I, I Good vet. Good decision maker. He's perfect for Minnesota right now where, you know, he, he enables everybody around him to be better. And, and he does his job really well. I'll, I'll say he's good. I'll, I'll say he's good. I might move him down later. Luka Doncic is a superstar. Let's, come on. Let's, let's, come on. <laughs> let's, come on. James Harden's still great. As much as he's older, not as good as he used to be, he's great. Not a star anymore, I don't think, but he's great. Still a very good playmaker. Can still give you a 20 a game. And honestly, we might thrust him upwards because he's going to take on a much bigger role this season with no Paul George with the Clippers anymore. Dennis Schroeder, is it fueled by a bit of Raptors animosity? Potentially, he's mid. Probably shouldn't be a starting point guard, but the Brooklyn Nets are going to be maybe the worst team in the NBA this season. So he's mid. Jamal Murray, man, some, some real exposing being done from his Olympic performances. I don't put him up here with these guys. I'll put him great. I don't think he's up here with these guys, though. So I was close, but nah, he ain't he ain't with those guys. He's not in that club. Shea's a superstar. Perhaps the best point guard in the league. Perhaps the MVP this upcoming season. But Shea's a superstar. Make no mistake. Terry Rogier. I'll put Scary Terry above mid. But he's on thin ice. Cade. I'm not a big Cade Cunningham fan. I'm really not. But he's better than good. He isn't a star. He's better than good. I'll put him as a great option. But needs to work a little bit more on his efficiency. And I think this is the year to show it. Like You're healthy now. you got to start showing that efficiency. you got to start showing a little bit more for that Detroit Pistons team. LaMelo Ball. Injuries have kind of hurt his case. But he's definitely better than good. He's in the great tier. Tyce Halliburton's a star. Coming off of an all-NBA season, he started the all-star game. I know he wasn't getting many minutes at the Olympics, but he's a star man at this point. And he finished last season a bit injured, but still helped his team get to a conference finals. That's a star player in this league. As is Damian Lillard, even with his age. Not going to still... I, I don't think last year I saw a superstar, Dame. I saw a star there. He's a star player. He's not up with these guys, though, right now. He took a drop-off last year. At his best, he's up here easily. But I'm not going to quite put him up with the big three right now. Another guy who's close is Trey Young. Perhaps if he played on a better team, he'd be up here. But that might be a hot take. You could say if he was up here, his team would be better. So it's his fault. But he is, you know, he can give you 25 a game outrageous passer, obviously not a good defender, but very good score, very good shooter, elite passer. I really like Trey Young, but not enough to put him in the superstar tier. Josh Giddy, I don't like Josh Giddy. Mid. What does he do? Like, what does he do? I don't know. Yeah, it's not much, but uh, I'll put him here. I could have a Kobe White for the Bulls. I don't know who's the technical point guard. Kobe White would have been in good Close to great, but not Josh Giddy. Tyrese Maxey is a star. He's a star. We saw it last year, and he's going to continue to ascend, in my opinion. Uh, definitely a star. Jalen Suggs, probably a starting point guard for the Orlando Magic this season. He's a great defender and can shoot the ball. He's starting to become really valuable. He's better than this. He's the bottom of the great tier, but he's definitely better than top of the good tier. Garland is, ooh. <clears throat> Garland's a tough one. Garland is a tough one. He's coming off of a bad year. Is he great? Would I want Garland as much as I want these guys? I want Garland more than all of good but less than all of great. He's in the middle. But I think he's the opposite of Suggs. No, but come on. He's coming off. Oh, 
I can't put him here. I'm gonna put him here. I can't put it. I could not put him here. I could not let go of the cursor there. Simons. I feel like we need another tier. I feel like we're missing a tier. We're missing some. We're missing one. This is just. This is just where they fit. This is just. This is. Yeah. I. I had to. I. I just. Something's not right about this tier list. So, you know, we're making our change on the way. They, they're they not quite at this level. He might be, actually. I still put him there. But I, I got I to gotta put Garland down there. Simon's also in here for me. Right at the top of this. Better than good. <laughs> not as good as great. That's, that's the tier. <laughs> they're a mouthful, but... Uh, and, and honestly, that's where Chris Paul sits as well at his age. Better than good, but you know what? No, he's good. These two are better than good, but not in this great tier. Um, Jalen Brunson is a star. Yeah, that's that one's easy. Honestly, <sighs> Drew Holiday's a curious case. I'm 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 thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. As much as he's such a fantastic defender, sorry, it's glitching. I'm trying to put him here. Oh, what is going on? Trey Young is staying here. Once that goes, I am going to leave it like this. I'm, if I had to order it specifically, uh, yeah, let's. If I had to order it, it's kind of glitchy right now. Apologies, but I'd actually, I'd probably put Drew Holiday ahead of Jamal Murray as well. I think this order is about what I'd have it as. Point guard, I think I, point guards, are, like the superstars are so difficult to, to rank there. Um, I don't like Josh Giddy. And at least D'Angelo Russell can shoot threes. I'm going to move Josh Giddy back. I think that's fair. Keontae George is the worst starting point guard, even though he's good. See, that's the thing. He's good, but he's the worst starting point guard, in my opinion. But he is good, though. I'll leave it like this. This is how we have it. What's wrong? What's right? You got to let me know.